Hiya, yeah. it's Peep here. I want to show you how I chip my potatoes. I bought some potatoes um, from my local garden centre, and um, this one is one of them. It's Pentland Javelin, it's an early potato. But to give them a head start, I like to chip them. So they come in the bag. Oops, like that. I don't know if you can see that. And this is an old big egg box tray I buy and uh, I've cut it in half. You need to make sure it's a little, little eye, like a little eye. And uh, the eye needs to be upwards because that, the eye will grow the chit. There you go. Can you see that? And the chit is, I'll show you one on another one. Uh, but these early ones, this little potato will give you all these potatoes at the, you know, in the summertime. So you've got to make sure that the, the little eye is upwards. You will see it. You will see a little thing, little eye, where it's starting to grow from. Oop, like that. And that way they will start growing the chip. Um, you can write it on there, don't forget to write what you bought. This one I will leave on top of the, underneath the tray so that you know. I want to show you, I bought the, those, I bought from the local garden centre. If you're in the UK, there's a local shop called b and I went in there yesterday and I found these little beauties. They already started chitting will spread but the problem is if you leave them in the bag like this when you come to plant them out all these chits will come off because they're very tender they'll just flick off and your potato has to start all over again so i'm going to put these carefully in the my egg tray they also they get stuck in these holes they come they come through because they're desperate to come to the light. They've been kept in the dark in uh, b and But they're so desperate for life. Can you see? Already start to show the green, which will be the beautiful potato leaf. The plonk is all in here. I call it plonk. Place. With the eyes. These are easier to see. But those other ones will look like that very soon. And there's 10 in the bag. And potatoes, look there, it was stuck. These are Desiree main crop. Boom. So they'll be very nice. I really like Desiree. Um, I want to show you my neighbour. She brought in some. She's like, what have I done? I'm like, let me guess. Did you keep your potatoes in the dark? And she's like, yes. And these are salad blue. Look, they all inter intertangle. Um, they she had some towels on top because she forgot she had them in there. This is what I mean. If you keep them in the dark, they shoot up like this. You still use them. I said just get them used. I've kept them in my conservatory for her. I said let me strengthen this. And these tender little chips will toughen up, and when I'm ready to plant them, they'll be fine. But this is what happens if you keep them in the dark. They're all desperate to find. See, this one is just broken off. There's still a little one. It'll be fine, but that's how easy. They're more tender because they're so long. They're too tender, but they will be fine. And, right, you need to keep them in a cool conservatory uh, where there's no frost so they can give you these sprouts so that to give you beautiful potatoes in the summer months. And that's it. Hope that's helpful. Bye bye.